Well, hi folks, and welcome back to Father and Sons Fishing. We have a one of a kind video for y'all today. Now, Alex and Ryan, first of all, say hi. Hi, hello. Hello, and we do apologize a little bit. The lighting that we know is like kind of like on our faces, but can you guys explain why we're crouched down behind my truck in Rodanthe, North Carolina? Basically, what's happening here is that the jug handle bridge is opening today, and uh, they're not letting cars on yet, but we can walk on the bridge, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. That was about as good as I could have said it. Why are they calling it the jug handle bridge? Um, because it's shaped like a jug handle. And that's, you know. that's pretty much it. So it's an historic moment. How often do you get to be one of the first people in the world on a new bridge? Not often. Not often. But here today on Saturday, April 9th, 2022, we are going to get that opportunity. Ryan, you're going to remember this for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. So we're going to hopefully get some cool footage for y'all. And we're going to show you around the Jug Handle Bridge. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's a classic. <laughs> All right, guys. Best behavior, okay? Let's go. And Ryan. Yeah? We also didn't explain why do they build this bridge. Uh, that right over there. Um, it's next to some sand dunes. Um, that's he gave, like, uh, and the sand keeps, like, going on the bridge. So... Uh, so a lot of times if a hurricane or nor'easter comes through, there's a lot of erosion. So this will replace the part of Route 12 that's constantly getting battered by the storms. Right guys? Yeah, correct. Yeah. I want to get a shot of you guys. All right. What do you guys think? Should I give you the GoPro and let you just go nuts? Yeah. All right. You guys are gonna take turns, okay? Okay, it's going. Yeah. All right. So, folks, we're on go. Wait, what's it called again? What's the first call? I don't need it. I get GoPro. Cup handle? No, mug handle. No. Now, what's your bridge called? Okay, guys. So, it's, so we're on the new jug handle bridge. So, um, this is it. It's um. 2.4 miles long. Uh, we're on the first two. Well, not one, the first two. Walk on it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, don't get to do this every single day. So yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna run. Oh shoot. It out. Uh, sure. Alright guys. So we're tired. The jug handle bridge is 2.4 miles long. Tons of people on the bridge is very crowded. And yeah, let's go. Guys, we got a little POB here. Slowpoke. Got him. So, uh, it's your long walk. Um, that is the only car on it. Uh, blue Ford. Uh, I don't know why I just mentioned that, but. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. We walked all this distance. Pretty far. We're already halfway. We probably only walked like maybe like a mile, right? Probably. Maybe a bit less. So yeah, we still have a long way to go. So basically, the reason why this bridge is even was even created is because about over there, where you can see all the sand dunes and stuff, there was a road, and there it's still there. If the storms, the sand dunes would go onto the road, and they had to maintain it to keep the road. Um, to keep the road visible. 
And now this isn't gonna be a problem anymore. So we're just gonna get rid of the road. And now the people can drive on the jug handle bridge. As you know. So that's why they created the jug handle bridge. Hi. Why well, I have to say that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of bikers, but also a lot of walkers. Um, maybe, I, I don't know how much longer until um, um, cars will be ever going. Oh, like there's a biker. Um, like the worst commentator ever. Oh uh, yeah, but I've got nothing to say, so uh Oh Ryan, what are you doing? Yo, there's a bunch of burp poop. Like I was looking back in the um in the earlier stages of the bridge and there were just like a bunch of fresh dumps. <laughs> uh there's a bunch of letters. Bro, we're walking so far and I keep but I keep that way. Yeah, yeah. It's like it feels like ten minutes ago. We were like right here where we're standing. Dude, imagine that would be such a good slide for some squirrels, especially especially if they can swim because at least right. How will they get that up? What? They're like Michael Phelps. It was squirrel. It was squirrel slide down there. Because, because, what's the nearest thing that could that? What if it's a mini? What if it's a mini Michael Phelps? I come up with the worst. Dad, if you put that in the video, actually, now that I said it, you're probably gonna put that in the video. Oh God. Yeah, if you put this in, I have no idea. Um, if you want to see me talk like this more, then check out my YouTube channel, Alex Huntle. Check it out. Are my 23 subscribers? I need some more subs. Get me up. Get me up to 50. Please include that clip, Dad. I need some more subs on YouTube. So basically, the beginning of the bridge is, is over on that side, and it's like, like we walked for like 10 minutes. I keep looking back, and it looks like we haven't moved at all. Good thing is I haven't saw some um, bird poop in a while. That's good. I can barely even see myself in the sunlight. So yeah, but sound. And oh, well, still here's a sound, but over there is ocean. Look at those clouds. Fun fact of the day. Did you know that that cloud could weigh like a million pounds to 10 million? Crazy, right? Maybe more than that. I'm gonna head back. Uh, yeah. I'm heading back. Just don't want to get lost, you know. Where is my family? Hey, Not the whole time. Is the GoPro still running now? Yeah. It is? Yeah, I wasn't filming the whole time. Yeah, sure. Well, but it'd actually be better if we went this way. It just this is this is good right here, and then we get the background. Yeah, it's perfect, guys. All right, here we go. Say cheese. Someone's camera shy there in the middle, huh? All right, got several for you there. All right, no problem. Appreciate it. Take care. Yeah, it's like an old World War II battle. Okay. Ship. And what happened is they got, uh, they were using it as like a repo to like pull other ships that were stuck. Uh huh. Another ship stuck and it pulled up to try and pull it out. 
and it got stuck and there was no other bigger ships around to pull it out so it's just been here ever since i'm surprised a ship that size could even get in here it's so shallow yeah we can't congratulate ourselves until we've actually crossed the finish line huh aren't you the kid that wanted to do the 5k huh yeah you don't want to anymore you're good smart kid uh. so Ryan, what'd you think Tired. so that our friends was the jug handle bridge and a tired rye guy how was your experience how was your first experience ever on the jug handle bridge it was amazing it was amazing <laughs> Someday you'll be driving on this thing. Well, gang, hopefully y'all had a good experience. First experience on the jug handle bridge. You want to tell the people, peace out, we'll see you later. See the viewfinder is just like oh oh there I am what's up okay why am I talking like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be so embarrassed by this video you're you're being filmed right now you know it's running you on camera boy.